hey everybody i am coming making this video message and i want to target those in the body of christ i'm not going to target people in the world i am specifically targeting and speaking to men and women in the body of christ mainly single men and women in the body of christ but some married men and women in the body of christ go through what i'm about to discuss as well anyway let me break something down to you all as a man or woman of god god will place an anointing on your life he will place a call on your life and with that anointing and with that call or with God enlarging your territory and you going to a higher place in God, you have got to be very careful with who you allow to have access to you. And the reason you have to do this is because the call, the anointing, even the popularity that some of you all carry, it is going to draw and attract certain people to you now i've had a discussion with you all before about the fact i don't believe that you attract who you are i don't necessarily believe that because we cannot help who is drawn or who is attracted to us people like what they like and sometimes people are good and they're going to be attracted to you and drawn to you. And sometimes people that are bad are still going to be drawn and attracted to you. But I want those in the body of Christ to learn how to give yourself in doses. And there is a reason why you must give yourself in doses, especially in the workplace and especially in the house of God. You have to be this way because the appearance of something inappropriate going on is always going to be the first rumor sometimes that is spread or the perception that is going to be given off about you depending on who you are interacting with and who you are engaging with. Now, as a minister, as a prayer warrior, as a musician, as a teacher, there are going to be times you have to engage and have conversations and meetings and interact with people who are doing the same things you're doing. I am not referring to that. I am referring to those of us who are in the body of Christ and just in our everyday interactions with people, sometimes we are too nice. That is not to say don't be nice but when you are a saved man or woman of god a lot of us and i'm speaking from personal experience because i have done it i have experienced it and i have also seen other people in the body of christ experience it and go through it sometimes because we know what the spirit of rejection feels like and because we recognize someone who is broken we recognize someone who may uh, deal with insecurity, re recognize people who are emotionally unstable, we will sometimes extend ourselves more than we should because we know how it feels. We know how it looks. And if we don't give a little bit of ourselves and listen to these people or talk to these people sometimes we are uncomfortable because we don't want anybody to feel like we think we're all that or we think we're better than them but it can become a dangerous thing because a lot of people when they are dealing with a man or woman of god and you have a certain title or you have a certain anointing and call on your life they will indeed mistake your interaction with them you can be the very friendly man. You can be the very friendly woman. And you simply having a two or five or 10 or 15 minute conversation with the opposite sex. Sometimes they will take it as or assume that you like them. Or they will assume that you are attracted to them. And when they realize that you don't feel about them the way they feel about you, a lot of these broken people, they will start to spread rumors about you. They will start to badmouth you. They will start to slander you. And this is why 
you have to be careful interacting for a very long time with certain people because every little thing you say to them and every little small amount of time you spend with them in their mind and in their heart they will start to become i hate to say it some of them will become delusional and they will make it appear like you are in a full-blown relationship with them these are very real things that goes on in the body of christ and so what i'm saying to you all is that you have to give yourself in doses and you have to keep your words very few with certain people and on the flip side of this there are also going to be married people who want to have inappropriate conversations and interactions with you in the workplace in the body of christ or you may have friends who have mutual friends connected to them and they may be married and they may be drawn to you for different reasons all i'm saying in this video message is that you have got to give yourself in doses and you have got to be careful with the type of conversations you have in the church setting one thing that a lot of people do is that they sit back and they watch you some of these people are put up by the man or woman of god to watch you if you are a leader if you are attractive if you are a musician or a prayer warrior or you are a minister whatever your position is sometimes you may not be on the front line but there is still people who are drawn to you and people are talking about you it may not always be in a bad light but people are starting to know your name they recognize that you're always showing up at church they see your face all the time and sometimes Sometimes people will want to get to know you or they will be put up to start asking you personal questions and sometimes when they see you talking to someone it could be you had a two or five minute conversation with a married man or a married woman and somebody on the sideline or in the background will see that and they will take it back to the man or woman of God or they will take it back to other people and make it appear like you were having an inappropriate conversation with the person. Sometimes to keep it 100% real with you all, there will be married people who will approach you and they will have inappropriate conversations with you. Because of you being where you are in God, sometimes having a big heart, sometimes having a very big personality and like i said you may be a very attractive man or woman and you may have the charisma sometimes people married or not they will be drawn to you and so because of you being where you are you've got to learn to cut it off you have got to learn okay when i see somebody married I cannot have a long conversation with them. If their spouse is not around, the conversation has to be, hi, how are you? Good evening, good morning, or you know, good night. Maybe you were at a meeting at the church. It's the evening time, the meeting has ended, everybody is leaving. And so you're telling certain ones, you know what, good night, I'll see you guys tomorrow or I'll see you guys at the end of the week. However it looks for you and however it goes. But start to be that way instead of engaging a lot of people. Because also, what I noticed in the body of Christ as well is that people will have conversations, innocent conversations, and then people will link you to the person you're talking to. So let's just say as a single woman or as a single man, you're having a conversation with another single man or woman, and it's 100% pure and it's 100% innocent. There will be someone who will spread a rumor and say that you and that man or you and that woman are together. And people will start approaching you, questioning you about that man or woman. They will try to dig in and see, are you dating him? Are you talking to him? If you're a guy, they will ask you, are you dating her? Is that your girlfriend? Are you guys talking? Because I heard you all are together. I heard you all are talking. A lot of people in the church said, and they will assume, and they will even feel like they are obligated to know about your personal life. They feel like they're obligated to know who you're talking to, 
who you're dating and they will even try to inquire about your spouse if you have one. I'm letting you all know in this video message, there is a way you have to conduct and carry yourself in the house of God, out the house of God, in the workplace, within your family, and even around your friends because people mistake interactions and conversations with men and women of God all the time. You might not even expect it. Sometimes you don't expect it. You are not looking for it. But it happens because like I said, where you are in God and who God is calling you to be and where God is taking you, all calibers of people are going to be attracted to you and drawn to you. It does not always have to do with anything you're doing wrong. It does not always have to do with anything that you're saying that is wrong. It is just what comes with the territory. Popularity to a certain extent comes with the territory of you being an anointed and called man or woman of God. You being charismatic comes with the call and the anointing on your life being in the kingdom of God. You being very approachable and people being comfortable coming to you and talking to you comes with the territory when you are anointed and when you are called in the kingdom of God. This is something that needs to be discussed because a lot of chaos and a lot of confusion gets started and a lot of churches, they do not address it. They hear about mess. They hear about he said, she said, but they never get to the nitty gritty of why these things are transpiring. And so from me, from my end, because I personally experienced it and because I know people who have also experienced it, I had to learn to start giving myself in doses to certain people. This comes with discernment. You have to have the spirit of the Lord in you. You have to have discernment because you will know the people that you should engage with for a very short amount of time. And there will be times where you know to engage a little bit longer with certain people. When you are called, there are going to be times where you have to spend more time with certain vessels of the Lord. You're going to have to spend more time talking to them because they are broken. They are broken mentally, they are broken emotionally, they are broken spiritually. And a lot of these people who are babes in Christ, a lot of these people who don't know God, at the level you know God, they are looking for love. They are looking for attention. They are looking for friends. They are looking for people that care about them. But because a lot of them who will start to come to you are not delivered, some of them will struggle with lust. Some of them will struggle with the spirit of lesbianism. Some of them will struggle with the spirit of homosexuality. Some of them will struggle with a lot of things. And so you being in the place and the position you're in, you have got to be very well aware of how much you engage with certain people, even the ones who are not babes in Christ. Married men and women who want to engage you, they want to connect with you, they want to become friends with you. You have got to pray about that and you have got to pay attention to the character and the type of person that that married man or woman is. There are going to be people in the church setting who are married and as a couple, they are very cool people. You don't have anything to worry about. You don't have to feel uncomfortable around them. However, on the other hand, you will see married couples in the house of God that carry a spirit of perversion. They are the type that they are swingers. The wife may carry a spirit of lesbianism. The husband may um, have had many affairs and the wife does not know about it. 
These are things you will start to see. These are things that you will start to pick up on when you are in the church setting or you may not even be in the church setting, just in your everyday life. You will go to engagements. You will speak at engagements. You will become cool with certain people and there are people in their family. They will have friends and you will come across all types of people. All I'm saying is that, and especially to those of you men and women in God, men and women of God, I'm sorry, in the workplace, you've got to be very careful who you are seen talking to. Because in the workplace, some of these people who don't know God, they can look at you and tell there is something special about you. They can look at you and tell that there is something different about you or there is something that stands out about you. Maybe you are the quiet type. You mind your business. That alone is going to draw people to you and they are going to see this person is mysterious. I want to get cool with them. They may like the way you dress. They may like the way you speak. And they are drawn to that. They may even become attracted to you and want to date you. I'm telling you all in this video message, in the kingdom of God, you've got to keep your words very few with a lot of people in the workplace because people will also link you to that person. Sometimes a lot of people, they will intentionally try to become friends with you because they want people to think something is going on with you and them. I cannot tell you how many times this has happened in my life where I have been link, linked to certain men. I will be very friendly. I am very loving. I have a very big heart. And yes, I am very approachable. But to just be so honest, I would have a very, very pure and innocent conversation with other single men. And I would be talking about general things, but they liked the fact that they would get attention off it looking or appearing like they were linked to me as far as dating me. I have also seen other women in the body of Christ. They will be friendly and sociable with a man. And somebody will spread a rumor and say, her and him are dating. Her and him are talking. I saw her and him leave out. You've even got to be careful, ladies and gentlemen, who you give a ride home or who you allow to give you a ride home if you are in the church or the work setting. This video message is not for everybody. It's very particular for certain ones because right now what is going on, there is a big shift. There is a very, very unique and a very big shift going on. And so when God starts to deal with some of you all and your gift starts to progress and it starts to become cultivated and it starts to grow, you will start to see and recognize that people who at one point they were not paying attention to you, but now they want to know you. Now they want to be friends with you. Now they want to get cool with you. They may even become very flirtatious. I am letting you all know who this resonates with and those who will catch it in the spirit. Take it back to the Lord. You will recognize that you cannot engage people for large amounts of time. I know that when you have a big heart and when you are a loving person, the last thing you want to do is reject someone. Because as a chosen and called vessel of the Lord, you more than likely know how it feels to be rejected. You know how it feels to be the eyeball out. You know how it feels to be the underdog. You know what it feels like to be a misfit. You know what it feels like because it comes with the territory. And so when you grow and when you elevate spiritually, you have an eye for that. You recognize that spirit in other people. However, you've got to be careful because like I said, if these people are not free and if they are not delivered from the spirit of rejection, from the spirit of not being really loved or loved appropriately, they will latch on to you. And sometimes they will want to intentionally be associated with you because it gets them attention. It helps them to look good. It helps them to look important. And if you engage them for too long and you cut them off or you stop talking to them, 
to protect yourself and to protect your good name and reputation, a lot of them, when you have been overly nice and talked too much to them and spent too much time with them, when you walk away from them, they will take it the wrong way and they will start to slander you. They will tell people you are mean. They will tell people you are rude. They will tell people you are not really a man or woman of God. They will tell people that you are an evil person, not really realizing that the reason why you kept your distance from them or you are engaging them very, very little is because you see what is going on with them mentally, spiritually, or emotionally. Sometimes you will see all three operating at the same time simultaneously. So all I want to tell you all again before I end this video message is in the body of Christ, whether you are single, whether you are married, you still got to be careful as an anointed and called man or woman of God with who you allow to have access to you. You've got to be careful with who you engage, who you tell things to, who you give your number to. I was led to make this video message again because so many changes are happening in the spirit realm. A lot of changes are being made. God is dealing with some of us on certain things. God is moving some of us around. God is basically shaking things up. And so when certain things are being shaken up, um, I'm sorry, and when God is doing different things in you and in your life, you have got to just be careful um, with who you are engaging and who you are talking to because people will take it the wrong way. They will take it the wrong way, guys. So be aware of that. You can still be loving. You can still be friendly. You can still socialize to a certain extent, but you have got to know when to cut it off. When you see that someone, because I'm going to tell you all something. As a man or woman of God, you can kind of feel who is attracted to you. You can kind of pinpoint who likes you. And so when you see these things, you've got to be careful with that. And you've got to know how far to go. Because the last thing you want is somebody to perceive you to be something that you're not. You can't control what people think about you. You definitely cannot control what people say about you, but you can control how much you engage other people. That's the point of the message. You've got to be careful with that. You all got to understand, you are not who you used to be. When you were in the world, when you were um, involved in all types of stuff, maybe at one point you were the playboy. Maybe at one point you were the woman who had a lot of different boyfriends. Maybe some of you never in your life have you had popularity. Maybe at one point you were not charismatic. Maybe at one point you were not a friendly person. But God has done a work on some of you all. He has cleaned you up. He is consistently cleaning you up. He is changing the way you dress. He is changing the way you walk. He is changing the way that you talk. He is changing how you interact with other people because when you were once broken, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, you probably through your spirit of rejection, through your hurt, through your pain, you perceive people to be a certain way that they were not because you were not healed. You were perceiving people behind unhealed eyes and an unhealed spirit. So all I'm telling you all is to be careful. Give yourself in doses to people. Know when to cut a conversation off. When people come to you, especially married people or people who are in relationships, you know that they're dating somebody. You've got to cut the conversation off. When they try to get inappropriate, you stay in your place. But when you see somebody else getting out of their place as a husband or as a wife or as a boyfriend or as a girlfriend, you've got to cut it off. You've got to keep it too high and by, you stay blessed and you've got to walk off. This keeps you out of mess. This keeps you out of chaos. This keeps you out of gossip. Sometimes this stuff will kick off and you're not doing anything. But a lot of men and women in the body of Christ, their name gets spread and stuff and thrown and stuff because they're simply too nice. They're simply too nice. 
And I know I'm talking to some of you all out here and it will resonate. It ain't going to resonate with everybody, but some of you, you will immediately be able to click with it. That's the video message. Well, guys, it's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord will, and I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have taken offense to anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.